In this video, we're going to derive the area of an isosceles triangle. So of course, you could use the 1 half base times the height formula to figure out the area of a triangle, and that works for basically any triangle, but you know what? That's too easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Heron's formula, which is this. A equals the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. And S, in this case, is equal to half the perimeter, so that's A plus B plus C over 2. Because this is an isosceles triangle, this angle here and this angle are the same, so we're going to label them as theta. And sides that are across from the same angle, so these two sides, are also going to be equal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite side C here as A. And in this case, A is going to represent the length of that side. Okay, so now what we can do is we can replace the C's in Heron's formula with A's. So let's do it for area. A equals S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus A again. And then this becomes S times S minus A squared times S minus B. And then we can basically square that S minus A or take the square root of it. So now we're going to have s minus a out front times the square root of s times s minus b. Okay, so we're going to leave that there for now. And then we're going to revisit this s port part. So we have s equals a plus b plus a. We're replacing the c with the a over 2. So this is going to be s equals 2a plus b b over 2, and then we're going to just separate it into two terms. We're going to have s equals a plus b over 2. Next up is to take this s and plug it into here. So we got to be careful just because there's so many parentheses and things, but we can do it. Minus a, and then inside the square root we're going to have a plus B over 2 times a plus b over 2 minus b. So you could double check me, but put the parentheses in there just to make sure that I kept this s part together. Okay, so now out front we cancel these a's and we have just b over 2 outside of the square root. And then in here, what we can do, we're going to leave this first term as a plus b over 2. And then the second term, we get to subtract this b from b over 2, so we are left with a minus b over 2. Then what you might realize is that this is a difference of squares, and so we can rewrite this as a squared minus b over 2 squared keep our b over 2. And finally, what we can do is rewrite what's inside the square root as a squared minus b squared over 4. And so this right here, put it over here so it's a little bit more out in the open, this is how you can find the area of an isosceles triangle if you only know the side lengths. Now we're going to look at a practice problem. We have an isosceles triangle here with the side lengths of 13 and a base of 10. So I wanted to show you how to do this using the original 1 half base times height formula as well as the new formula that we just derived. So to start off, if we want to use the Pythagorean theorem and we want to use the so-called easy formula over here, we got to figure out what the height is. So when we do this, we break the bottom line into two fives. And then we can solve for one of the triangles. So we're going to solve for this one over here. So in this case, we're going to have 5 squared plus h squared equals 13 squared. It's going to be 25 plus h squared equals 169. And then h is going to be 12. So this is a 5, 12, 13 triangle. Then we can go back up to the top and do 1 half times 10 times 12. So we're going to get 1 half of 120 equals 60. 
So super easy, you know. Now if we come over here for our formula, A is the side length, which is going to be 13, and B, so I can put this here, B is the base. So instead of trying to figure out what the height is, we're just going to plug in values. So it's going to be 10 over 2, square root of 13 squared minus 10 squared over 4. Do a little bit of simplification here. 5 times the square root of 169 minus 25. And you should also recognize that we're seeing like similar numbers to what we got on this side. And when you plug this into a calculator, you also get 60.